Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios, bringing you a special how-to episode um, specifically meant for my fans as well as viewers from around the world. Um, this is a topic that's been really, really heated lately, and that is how do you get the US version of the Samsung Gear VR? So for those of you possibly buying this off eBay and using it with your Note 4, uh, meaning you're using a non-US Note 4. and there's been a lot of issues going on with um, it being not supportive you, or you guys don't have the actual software in, available in your respective countries as of just yet. So there's no support. So even though the devices are compatible, you can't download on what you need. You can't download the uh, the software for it. So I've been digging around online and I, I thought I found a solution on a forum that I typically use. And uh, several of you have tried it and told me that it actually worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with the, the rest of the community. Now these steps are for those of you who have the Note 4 with the Xenos processor. Um, sorry if I mispronounced that, but you know what I mean. And not the, the, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, which is what we have in the United States. So for, if you have that version and you have uh, versions 1.0.24, not 1.028, um, it may it may let you do it for 2 but I'm not sure yet. So if that there's an update, please let me know down below. But these I'm gonna go over the step by step process on how to do it that I found on this form. I'm also gonna leave a link down below to the form because you do need to download a zip drive from them. But some several people, not only from my comment board but also from this form, said that it actually they actually got it to work. So. Let's go ahead. I can't fully show it to you because I'm using the US Note 4, but I can at least show you the initial steps and I'll write down everything for you. So what you have to do is, all right guys, first step, in, the, in your Note 4, go to settings. You wanna go scroll over to general, and then you wanna scroll down to storage. And then from there, you wanna go to use space, and then you wanna go to application. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and locate the Gear VR setup wizard. A lot of programs. Better if you just do it alphabetically. There we go. You wanna find the Gear VR setup wizard. Go ahead and tap that. You're gonna bring up the app info. Now what you wanna do here is, I won't do it for you here, but you wanna force in, you wanna force stop the program, and then go ahead and uninstall it. All right, guys, for step three, go ahead and follow the link I provided for you down below in the description box and just look at step three at the site. And you're going to go want to go ahead and download that zip drive first. And then step four, you want to copy all those files to your note four and then install it. All right, next, you want to go to the Play Store and you're going to want to install Quick Shortcut Maker. So let me see if I can find that there. There you go. You want to you want to find quick shortcut maker and go ahead and install that program now after the shortcut maker has been um, installed go ahead and open it and then search for VR setup it's gonna probably show you VR setup wizard um, without the stub at the end now you want to check the version via app info and it must be 1.0.24 once you verify that hit try and it will open the setup windows from there go ahead and install everything you need from oculus and then enjoy apparently now, one quick thing before I close this thing, um, I am reading it off the, uh, the actual form there, and it says that if so Oculus suggests that you update later, do not update. Do not. Um, it's because it's going to install 1.0.28 version of the setup wizard, and everything's going to stop working again. So this is pretty much like he said that he got he got a couple phones to work with this, and some of the uh, my other commenters said that they tried it and they were actually surprised it worked. So it worked for them. So this is a nice temporary fix. It's a temporary fix until Samsung actually releases the software in your respective countries. So go ahead and let me know if this step-by-step -step actually worked. Um, go ahead and if you can just help endorse it to help those other international users out there. It would be really well appreciated. If it didn't work or if there's issues, please go ahead and let me know. But once again, this is for the Note 4 users to have the... Uh, the Xenos processors, not the Snapdragon from Qualcomm that we have here in the, in the US. All right, guys, I really do hope that this video did help you um, solve your problem. I know a lot of you have been having issues and trust trust me, like I feel this frustration. A lot of you have been asking me from all, all around the world and I know a few countries have gotten in like the Netherlands and the UK and a lot of you are still patiently waiting and I really want you to enjoy this. So if you did buy from eBay, and you have it, please go ahead and just let me know if it worked or not. I really want to know because I'm, I may, I'm making this video for you guys. So as always, guys, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down to let me know if you liked or disliked this video and if you hate me for making it. 
And if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and as well as check out my other content. I really encourage you to, to see if I'm worthy of your, of your subscription. But if I don't see you guys next time, thank you. I really do appreciate you, you even stopping by and watching my video. But hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Ciao. Sign up. <laughs> Epileptic seizures. So essentially, for those of you who have seizures, don't do this. Wait, is this by the same dex? Inner space again, right? Yeah, the inner space. Now, if you guys can see there, it, it tells you it's recommended that you play on a swivel chair with press codes. What did I say? I didn't get to see it. It's really high pitch.